What's going on YouTube? Uber Auto Auction Rebuild Guy Man here um, with my brother Tim. Here we are. It is Copar... Bleh. Should I edit it? No. It is Copar Auction Day. And usually I would be bidding on something right now, but since, you know, things are kind of up in the air on that, instead of bidding today, we're just here to do some Copart walk-arounds. Got my brother Tim, as always. Uh, he's out here to sweat it out with me and see uh, if we can find anything interesting for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So my brother just spotted this out of the corner of his eye. An S600. Looks like minor accident damage over here. Oh, it's an S430. Crap. Well... Damn that it's big. It looks it looks like an S600 to me. Sucker's huge. No odometer, no key. All the wheels and Yeah, it's dropped all the way to the ground. Let's see if we can lift this hood. Even though this doesn't have the parts that we need, it's worth having a look at. V8, and look, it's got some acorns under the hood, too. Yeah. Good eye, Tim. Right. Seriously, I didn't, I didn't see it. It looks very similar to mine. In some ways, it looks bigger. But it's not. It uses the individual coils. So, good eye. How about an old 80s Porsche? Or Porsche. Don't argue with me on how to say it. I don't care. I always had a thing for these. Never had one. Probably at this point never will. Claims the odometer is 30,000 miles. Oh wow, look at that uh, that dark red. Gorgeous, wow. Yeah, well, the odometer only goes uh, to five digits, so it's probably 130,000. Still, whew, it is hot as hell in there. Not bad. And here's a perfect example of something that would be worth bidding on, in my opinion. It's just an old BMW. Small one. But look at the miles. I think this one probably already sold. 49,958 miles. It's a 318 Ti. Look how clean this is. Normally these older Beamers have bad interiors, you know, pieces are falling apart, the seats are just ripping at the seams, but everything in this car is just almost pristine. Great little car. And I don't even see any body damage either. Yeah, I do right here. I didn't catch that. There's some slight damage right there. You wanna talk about real damage. Looks like this guy decided to go cow tipping and use this car to get through the fences. Stinking Lincoln. All right, so I'm doing this one for my guy that either sent me an email or, I don't know, maybe a private message on Facebook, something. This is a 2017 Ford Fusion that he wanted me to look at for him. And normally I don't do this, but um, since I am not buying any cars right now, I figured might as well do something for somebody. Um, here is the item number. Salvage notice. The interesting thing about this one is it is a 2017 with like 19,000 miles. Um, it looks great, but it's listed as having mechanical damage. And we saw um, in the pictures from Copart, um, when they had it running, it said engine on, but the oil light was on. Now you can see down here, We've definitely got some scuff, so it looks like it took a light hit in the back. Doesn't look like anything too major. I don't see anything down the passenger side other than this right here. Tires on the back look really good. Tires on the front look really good. Rims look fine interesting really makes you wonder 
what happened to this car that it's totaled at 19,000 miles. Interior looks nice. Windshield is good. Pretty good in the back. We got some pieces here. I don't know what these go to, but they're obviously ripped. I believe, I don't know, these don't really look like undercarriage pieces to me, but they could be. Uh, Ford, here's your part number. Probably goes under the hood. So, uh, something, something happened there. We'll take a quick look under the hood. Since the oil light was on, I'm not even going to attempt to get the key for this, even though they would give it to me. We could clearly see the oil light on in the pictures, and uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run it with low or no oil pressure. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is check the oil. And it... Well, it doesn't look like there's anything on the dipstick. Oil probably leaked out of it. It does not look like there's anything on the dipstick at all. Looking around, I don't see any oil splatter anywhere on top but if you look back here i don't know if you can see that on camera but there's definitely oh, yeah. something splattered all over the back here so yeah that's oil yeah that's gonna be oil the oil went somewhere and my suspicion is that uh this is an undercarriage deal where somebody drove over something or whatever and busted a hole in the oil pan so let's take the gopro down here all right let's have a look see Underneath the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As I suspected, I told him in the message that I sent him back that I figured this would be an undercarriage, probably with a busted oil pan. And sure enough, oh, yeah. it's got a hole right here. Hopefully, you can see that clearly. Um, I can't believe they were running it. I can't believe they started it. Uh, don't touch it, Tim. Oh, Tim, no. don't touch it. It's big. Yeah. The oil pan is shattered, and those pieces in the back seat um, go under the engine part of the engine cover so you've got pretty significant damage right here hopefully you can see this bar is crunched it's crunched back here all of the plastics under here are broken the oil pan is broken um, yeah I mean it could be as simple as putting an oil pan on it and you might have yourself a decent driving car but since it's been run with no oil in it that would concern me a great deal all right well there's my good deed for the day. Hope that helps you out on making a decision whether you want to bid on it or not. Maybe worth the risk. Who knows? I know this. I'm not going to be the one risking my money on it. I had to do it. How many of you remember the Honda Prelude? I had a few of these, um, including a black one that looked just like this that had four-wheel steering. Yeah, four-wheel steering, meaning the back wheels turned, and so did the front wheels. Thing could turn on a dime. It's the SI. I almost fell. That's great. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. 230-some thousand miles. The car is incomplete. Just trashed. Horrible condition. And it's an automatic negative points for that oh still i used to love these cars at&t cars guys i'm telling you keep your eyes open for these you can find some really good deals on at&t cars they may not always look the best but these things are usually runners and drivers go check out big al man he's had a lot of success with these i can never help but wonder why something like this is here and you know how did this end up here this is a really nice Hyundai Genesis G80 3.8. Overall, a very clean car. I thought maybe hail damage because it looks like the rear window got shattered, but no, there's no hail damage. None at all. The car looks almost like it just came off the showroom floor, other than the obvious shattered glass everywhere. And does have a busted windshield too so maybe this was a thing of a lover's quarrel 
cheating husband. Out riding his hot girlfriend around his mistress in his fancy Hyundai Genesis. I don't know. Hard to say what happened, but there's no hail dings on it. Damn car looks clean. My brother is really loving these AT&T vans because they have shelves and wires and boxes of cool stuff. And if you look here, you can see uh, this isn't a uh, this isn't a salvage like it was wrecked or anything. This is uh, a letter declaring that this vehicle's just been put out of service. You know, that's it. He probably still runs, drives great. It was well maintained. There's the lot number. Yeah, I don't know what you could use something like this for, but I'm sure you could find something to do with it. Hell, I'd almost be interested in buying one. It's an interesting little van. Sadly, it seems the back doors are locked. No job is so important and no service is so urgent that we cannot take time to perform our work safely and in an environmentally responsible manner. Well, you got to respect that. I think someone sharded a few times, you know. It's got a... Hell, this thing's only got, what, 57,890 miles and it's retired already? It's hard to see back there. Look at all the shelves and equipment and stuff. Got a power inverter right here, 450 watt power inverter. Dude, I would buy the hell out of this thing. Look at that monster truck. Yeah, the whole back is locked, unfortunately. I'd love to open it up and see what's back there. Pretty cool. Tell me this is not the sexiest C6 you've ever seen. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> All right, it's not the sexiest. Mine's the sexiest. Uh, even mine's not the sexiest, but still, love it, man. Love it. They uh, they took the GM badge off and put a Transformers emblem down there. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but that's uh, <laughs> that's interesting. We got some damage here, damage here. This one's not bad at all. This is like a fully blacked out. Oh, it's that's not factory Corvette exhaust either, buddy. 1320 video. Uh oh, we know who they are. Yeah, we know who they are. Yeah, this is not Corvette exhaust, man. Nope. That's aftermarket. We're not getting it open. Yeah, the battery's dead. So you can't get into it. Actually, you can because this window's cracked, but you'd have to punch through this and reach down and hit the emergency handle, which we're not going to do because I don't want to... I'm not going to tear this thing up. Beautiful car. Oh. Uh, engine locked don't try to start damn spark plugs are right there. All of them. <laughs> hey we need some spark plugs for our vet man let's borrow these here you go the AC Delco's buddy now uh, these spark plugs are good for 100,000 miles mine's only got 68,000 coincidentally this one also has 68,000 miles on it Liberty Mutual Insurance I wonder what happened It's so low to the ground, you can't get under it. But I'd bet they hit something. That'd be my guess anyway. I don't know. What a shame. God. My brother decided he wants to buy this one. This is going to be his first car. What is this, an Explorer? <laughs> I'm sorry, not an Explorer. These are called Exploders, right? Uh, apparently so. <laughs> That's what I've always heard him called. Yeah, Tim, I think we could afford this. Yeah, probably. You know, I think... Uh, Honestly, this isn't so bad, you know, get some of that 3M uh, polish and some 3M compound on this. Bring the paint right back out. Oh, look, the fuel tank caught on fire, too. It's in the back seat. Yeah, you're going to have to push me. All right, we can do this. We could do this. Just a little bit of polish and compound. Probably clay bar, I'd say. Really need to clay bar this to bring the paint out on it. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's not an exploder. It's an expedition. I should know better. The GTO from last week is still here. I actually had some of you guys asking me about this car, and I don't know anything about it, so there's a lot number. If you wanted to know about this goat, here she is. You got the lot number. Take a look at it. 
is this B is for builds FJ? <gasps> it's a pretty nice FJ. Significant hail damage. I don't know if you could see that on video. We've got some pretty decent hail damage. Lot number for you guys. And overall though, screw the hail damage, who cares? That's just cosmetic. You don't buy an FJ because it's pretty. All right, in my opinion, it's kind of ugly. You buy it because, well, I really don't know why you would buy an FJ. Um, it's big, clunky. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's cool, it's cool. I just, you know, not something I think I would buy personally, but still, it's, uh, it's an interesting vehicle, that much we can say. You know, if, I'm if I was going to start a lot, especially if I was going to do like a buy here, pay here, I would have no qualms, no issues with getting some reasonably priced salvage vehicles and putting them on the lot and selling them. I mean, let's be realistic. You know, when you're running a, a buy here, pay here lot, you're going to be dealing with people that have bad credit. They're definitely uh, a huge risk potentially a huge liability you know but you throw yourself a gps tracker on these things which i know people so that's not an issue and uh locating them make sure you got a spare key you know locating them is usually not that difficult repossessing them is usually not that hard and you move on to your next one but seriously i would have no problem at all with some of these salvage vehicles that are still you know in clean reasonable condition wouldn't be a problem look what we have here a bentley overheads overheats there we go it overheats so i guess we know what the problem is with it right something wrong with the engine and apparently some people took some parts off of it looks like we're missing our side marker light all the parking sensors are missing the grill inserts are missing down there well it's still got that one missing the grill here i think these are the headlight washers uh the doors are missing same thing on this side looks like someone may have plasti dipped the wheels i don't see any damage this is actually set like this because it says do not latch battery is dead won't be able to open so they've actually taped it so that you can't open or close it but uh hell not bad not bad at all let's have a look at the inside then we'll take a look at the engine oh man it's beautiful A little dirty on the inside but honestly not bad at all look at those paddle shifters man real deal right there Fourteen quarts of zero weight forty oil. Fourteen quarts of oil. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, I don't think this is a project I'd want to take on. Hey, but regardless, right? Sexy car. Let's move along. How about this sexy Tim right here? I mean Dodge Ram. Sorry, Tim. Even a wrecked Dodge is hotter than you. I'm telling you, man, I see some of the worst wrecks out here from these big pickup trucks. 
Good lord. Golly, what ha Maybe it rolled over, I guess. I don't know, look at that. Look at that. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't want to have been inside it when whatever happened to it happened. Definitely got some blood all over the ceiling there and the A-pillar airbag. Damn. Look, at right behind it, you got more. Like, we've seen this one about a hundred times, so I'm not gonna show this one again, but there's another one over here. You know, not just the front either. The back end's tore up on it too. Jeez. Right, here's another one. You know, I think a semi-truck or a train crashed into this one. Hard to say what else could do that kind of damage, right? Whoever was in that seat, man. Whew. Mm-mm. Look at all the carnage in one area, right? Almost enough for the whole video. Ow, I just ran into a truck. What well, used to be a beautiful old Lincoln. Well, I guess it's not old. Anytime I think Lincoln, I always think old. Ouch, right? That's a bad day right there. All right, so that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it because, as usual, my brother and I are sweating, uh, yeah, our you know what's um, off. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's humid. And now it smells like uh, propane or diesel. Any, yeah, I think that's propane. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Again, hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, if you love the Copart walk around videos, give this video a thumbs up. I know I didn't really get into too much carnage today. Uh, there's just a lot of cars that I wanted to look at. A couple of them were not here. I can't find them. One is a really nice looking Corvette. Uh, can't find it. And the other one is a Maserati. Can't find that either. So maybe we'll be able to see that in the next uh, next week, next video or something like that. I'd love to show those to you guys. But at least we got to see the Bentley. Uh, a few other interesting cars, a few wrecks, but not too much this week. You know, we'll see We'll see what happens next week. I'm just, I'm hot and I'm tired. I'm ready to get out of here. So give this video a big thumbs up. If you like this uh, Copart walk around stuff, big thanks to my brother, Tim, who you probably can't see because he's not in the camera frame because he's camera shy. No, there he is right there. All right, big shout out to him for coming with and helping me out and spotting a few cars that I wouldn't have seen without them. And guys, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button, all right? Just click the subscribe button, then there's that little bell right next to it. Click that or you won't get notified when new videos are posted. And with that said, we'll see you soon in the next one.